In this episode, we're going to build a to-do list feature that performs the SQL style CRUD operations of create, read, update, and delete. NoSQL uses different terms for these operations, so here's a basic translation when working with Firebase. Create equals push, read equals list or object, update equals update or set, and delete equals remove. Angular apps work with asynchronous data streams using RxJS or reactive extensions for JavaScript. A data stream can be pretty much anything, but in this context, we're talking about objects from the Firebase real-time database. At this point, it's assumed you have the Angular Fire 2 package installed and bootstrapped into your app. If not, go to the docs or check out our environment setup video. Start by generating the necessary files from the command line. The feature is just a simple list of to-do items that can be modified by users. We will give items their own TypeScript class to keep our data nice and organized. All the cred magic happens in the service, which is going to perform six different operations. It can get a list of items, get a single item, create a new item, update an existing item, delete an existing item, and delete an entire list of items. Start by importing dependencies and declaring a couple public variables. When we get an item or list of items, they will be returned as an observable, which can then be unwrapped asynchronously from the component. The functions for getting an item or list will return the observable, so it can then be set to a public variable. All other functions are going to return void because they operate on the items variable or take a specific key as an argument. Any component watching the items variable will, will be automatically updated when these functions are called from a component. All of these operations are defined in the Angular Fire 2 docs, so I recommend you check those out if you're looking for more specific details on one of these functions. The list component will serve as the parent component that iterates over items in the database. First, we need to define a public items variable during the ng on init lifecycle hook. This variable is going to hold the Firebase list observable. Then we use the ng4 directive in the template along with the async pipe to iterate over the observable. The async pipe is critical because the observable will be empty on initial rendering so we need to tell Angular to handle it differently than just a plain JavaScript object. In the item detail component, we use the input decorator to pass data from the parent to the child via the template. We also create a few functions that can be triggered by clicking buttons to operate on a single item within the list. In the template itself, we display the item attributes and add the CRUD functions to the corresponding buttons. Angular has several different form validation methods, but in this example, I'm gonna use a template-driven approach that uses the if-then-else syntax introduced in Angular 4. This method is only ideal for small, simple forms because all the logic's gonna be defined directly in the HTML, which tends to be harder to maintain than just regular TypeScript. We define two different templates named valid and errors. We can then display these templates conditionally based on the form state. The final step is to submit the form to create a new item. In this case, I just use the click event to trigger the create item method from the service. That's all for Firebase CRUD. See you next time.